So here we go for the opening round. James Lindley in the red, Steve Brown in the blue. Here for Swindon season one and immediately Brown comes out from that southpaw stance and lands with a big left. Lindley coming back but again that double left from Brown goes through the channel. He's got to be careful of that from the southpaw stance but suddenly Lindley explodes into action and big shots to the body of Brown there. The referee Peter Marklin splits them and you can see that southpaw stance of Brown. And he had a good start there, got through the channel with the left hand and lands again on Lindley. Lindley tighter guard now as he comes forward. Starting his own looping punches now, pushing back good double right to the body there from Lindley. And Peter Marklin will split them once more. Settle down a bit now after a, a big frantic opening start there from both men. Nice little shovel left to the body from Brown but... Lindley pushing forward now, a big right lands, forcing Brown to tuck up and he put in a big right to the body as well. Now looping right hands, tight guard. Oh, I was just about to say a tight guard from Lindley, but as soon as he dropped it, Brown dropped it, Lindley got right in there. And again, Lindley firing away and Brown has to keep those hands high. Peter Markland, our referee, looking closely. But he has got his hands tucked up tight here. Takes another big right, does Brown from Lindley though, as Lindley continues to keep him backed up in that corner. And so after a good start from Brown, the middle section of the round, Lindley has come on strong. And again, that right hand lands. And Brown finds himself backed up in the corner once more. Peter Marklin warning him for holding, and Lindley comes straight back in at him. And that's the trouble for Brown from the opening 30 seconds where he did very well. Lindley's had him trapped against the rope, firing leather, and he's doing the same now. But Brown responding, what a great end to the round. So round two, and Brown started the first well, as he's doing here. Lindley finished it the stronger. Nice movement this time in the second from Brown. Lindley still pushing forward as he did in the first, looking to back his man up. And Brown really doesn't want to be there taking these shots. He needs to keep that movement going because when he does drop his guard, that's when Lindley gets through with those big right hands. Brown looking to time up now, pushes him away. That's better, but he's got to move. He can't afford to let Lindley keep him there. Lindley, for his part, doing a great job of forcing the issue, forcing the pace and trying to keep his man in position. Now Brown needs to get that jab going to keep him away. That's just like just like that. Get that jab going, doubles and trebles it up. Much better for Brown when he's moving. When he's moving and jabbing, he forces Lindley to have a little bit of thought about what he's doing. But when he stops, Lindley, to his credit, is straight in there and forcing the pace. Nice jab again, though, from Brown. But that right hand of Lindley has been relentless throughout this opening bout. And again, pushing his man back against the ropes. Oh, big right hand, and you heard the crowd respond there. Now the left. Brown needs to get out in the middle of the ring and do what he was doing earlier in the round there. But again, the Lindley right hand when he static lands, and the big left as well. These are big shots from the man in the red corner, really forcing the issue again here in the second round. And for me, Brown is much better when he's in the middle of the ring using his jab to keep his man away when it's in close and tight. Lindley gets through with those big, big punches. And again, Lindley keeping his man there. Now, Brown had the opportunity, but this is the first time for both these men. This is a big occasion. It's easy to sit here and say what they should be doing. It's much harder when you're in front of a huge crowd for the first time after only 10 weeks of training. But for me, another big round for Lindley as we come to the bell. So third and final round in a very entertaining bout. And for me, Steve Brown needs a really big round here to bring it back. But again, he takes another clubbing right from James Lindley. And he's got to turn this around now because Lindley has forced the pace for two rounds. Incredible stamina, only 10 weeks training. He's kept the pace up relentlessly. 
and force Steve Brown to tuck up like he is now for long periods of this bout. When he's been in the middle of the ring, Steve Brown has looked a good boxer, but for too long in this fight, he's been forced back by these sort of punches from Lindley. Now, this is better. When he starts to throw that jab and get his way out of the corner, he's a much better boxer. But for too much of this bout, he's been forced by James Lindley to have his back to the ropes while Lindley throws those big hooks. And there's another big, big right. Peter Markland looking closely at Steve Brown. He takes it well. But Lindley relentless here in the third as he was in the first and second. Pushing forward relentlessly. And he comes again. And Jason O'Grady in the red, in the red corner there. Loving the fact that his man keeps pushing forward. Now working the body sensibly. And sadly for Steve Brown, he's had to endure a lot on those ropes. Tough character, strong chin. Now he comes back and you can hear the blue crowd respond. Best section of the round so far for Brown as he turned his man nicely. But Lindley straight back on him. Clever little left to the midsection there. Then the right hook to the head. And it's frustrating for Brown because Lindley has kept to his game plan for three rounds. Forging forward those big right hands keeping his man backed up against the ropes. And for me, Lindley's going to take this by sheer persistence. As we count down now, for me, it's going to be the red corner. <laughs> 